As late summer heads toward fall, basketball is just around the corner. At Villanova, that means a tradition that helps to define the program. After taking a back seat during the pandemic, Summer Jam returned in full this year. Think of it as a Villanova basketball family reunion with a purpose. Well, Summer Jam is vital to our program. It, it keeps everybody connected. And it, it's not just the former players coming back and, and watching the, the team. It's also our younger guys seeing in front of them what we talk about, that we play for those who came before us. They, those younger guys get to see them. And as we all know, just seeing someone in person in 2021 in many ways felt like a gift. It was just so refreshing to have them all back, watching our guys at the end of the summer um, reconnect. It was almost like a family reunion where you haven't seen everybody in five years, you know, um, because of how used to uh, seeing each other we all are. And um, it, it was just a, a really renewed your spirit and the fact that you know, hopefully we're on our way out of this COVID um, situation and that things were getting back to normal. And it was the first time it really felt like, all right, starts, we're starting to feel a little bit more back to normal here. But if you're looking for full normal, the season can only be tipped off in one way, the uniquely Villanova tradition of Hoops Mania. It's kind of our way of reintroducing ourselves after a summer break to each other, the, the players and the, and the fans. But this year, more than any year, the excitement and the juice in that arena was palpable. I think we knew we missed them, but we didn't realize how much we missed that energy until we felt it in there that night. And it was one of the unique and, and exciting Hoops Manias we've ever had. It was a night of introductions and celebration and dancing, always dancing. The carefully choreographed and rehearsed routines are another tradition, which expanded in 2021. We had the women's team involved doing a dance with, with our guys. That was, a, that was a first. New horizons are welcome and the tried and true staples remain. It's a night for the students and student athletes to gather for the first time on a season's journey with a shared love of the game. And it even includes the first real competition of the year. Wildcat versus Wildcat battling it out on the floor. At least once the first basket is ceremoniously celebrated. There's also still great traditions every year like the throwing of the streamers, which is the first basket in the pavilion of, of a season. Uh, you know, we used to, play that scrimmage game. It used to be a real long game. Now it's more a quick, intense game. The first shot's kind of staged a little bit for the fans to get the streamers out there. So every year we try to come up with something a, a little different, but we also want to hold on to great traditions. It's always a night filled with pride and promise. And like many other annual events in 2021, it was even more poignant after being shelved for the pandemic last year. There's always a dunk contest, and creativity is a dunker's best friend. But it does seem like bringing in a straight man is almost always a ticket to a slam dunk title. Then it's time for Villanova's trailblazing finale the concert. We were the first school ever to do that with 50 Cent uh, back in the day, but it's become a tradition here where the students kind of connect the, the vibe of Villanova basketball and some great musical experience. And, and it, it's something really unique to start the season. This year with Offset, uh, it was really cool for our guys to meet him before, and it was cool for all of us to see how excited he was to be at Villanova and just as excited as we were to meet him.